Right, for today, I'm going to put a sunscreen up here. Here in Spain, especially in the mornings, when you've got these down, I've got this huge gap here. It doesn't seem a lot, but generally you find the sun sits between there um, quite a lot in the mornings on the school runs. So I'm going to put a sun visor up there. Um, so basically, first first thing here is actually making sure this is very clean. Um, what I use is get yourself a little bottle. This one's got a mix of water and washing up liquid. You don't want it too um, liquidy. You don't want it too dry. You, you've got to get it somewhere in the middle. Um, the reason being, when you apply the film, you can move it around because it stops it sticking till you squeeze squeeze the water out. So you just got to get that mix right. The next task is getting getting the mirror off and giving that a good clean here um, to get it somewhere where I'm happy that it's smooth and I've left a little gap here for the um, mirror to go back up when we're finished. Um, but also make sure you've got a very sharp standing knife. I always use a fresh blade, every, you know, and I say this as if I've done it before. The answer is I have done it before, not not uh, windscreens. I've actually tinted uh, glass before, I've done safety glazing, I've done other bits and pieces. Fresh blades is one of the key elements because uh, you want to leave a slight gap of probably somewhere around two to three millimetres all the way around the edges that you're working on because when it heats up it expands so you want to leave a little gap otherwise you'll get it folding over at the tops all right thanks for watching as you may or may not be able to see is the, the screen's had a good clean at the top here um basically i've covered the width of where the new sunscreen will go but then all you do is basically wet the whole thing you can over wet it to be honest um, unless it starts getting too slippy but you're better off being over than under because if you're under it'll start sticking uh, which is what you don't want uh, not until you're ready anyway go on as well as expected um, I'd actually say no um, basically I've got a couple of little scratches in these and this has been caused this film is too thin um i'm not happy with it but also whoever cut it cut it wrong um because you're supposed to it'd have been better off just straight because then i can angle the ends but what they'd actually done is tapered the ends too far down so when you level up the middle where it should be uh what you are finding is you come down here and there's a gap of about two inches so i won't be ordering any of these from ebay again um i would it's just crap. It's gone on. It doesn't look too bad. But at the same time, it was a lot more work than it should have been. And if you didn't know how to fit these things, I'm sure you'd have uh, been throwing a load of uh, film in the bin. Because <laughs> it took me about four attempts to actually get it where I wanted it. Which is why it's important to put the washing up liquid on there in the first place. Because that allows you to move it around. But even then, because it's so thin, it, it creases very easily which is really, really annoying because the, the finish isn't as good as what I'd like. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.